Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today we're going to make some butterflies. And um, what I did was I have a bunch of butterfly images that I actually cut out. Um, here are some of the ones I've already cut and here's one we're going to go ahead and cut it uh, today. We're going to make a few of these. Um, they've come out so beautifully. I made some yesterday and let me show you guys how gorgeous these butterflies are. OMG, they are so pretty. And so I just went ahead and I made a whole bunch of butterflies because you guys know how much I love my butterflies. That's just a cut out. And I made all different sizes. Let's get these flowers moved over real quick. Look at all of these, you guys. Oh my gosh. This one's not done yet. I guess I can leave that one out. We can embellish it. But look at this. So cool. This is just a single butterfly. And this is one that I want to use this image to do some other ones. So I've got a I've got to work on that and cut some more out. I've got some new ideas on some other ones that I want to make. Um, so I will be cutting some more out, but I just have to, for those I need to get, use a silhouette of one of the styles that I like the most. Um, and just cut a whole bunch out. So there's another one that I've got kind of put together that we can finish up today. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you guys some of these beautiful, beautiful butterflies. There's a handful. Look at them. Oh, they're just gorgeous. And they've got stickles on them. And they're just beautiful. I'll just put them in my box as I show them to you. Here's a couple that are like one that we're going to be doing today. Aren't they gorgeous? And then we've got some just some little ones, some big ones, uh, some medium sized ones, some single ones that don't really have much on them but they're still stickled and everything. Some of these I used some of my white butterflies as a kind of a background piece. These ones here, this one and this one. And I just wanted to see if that would, whoops, sort of enhance them a little bit. And then here's a real big one and another real big one. Look at those. Oh, they're so gorgeous. And I love this butterfly. I've decided I really really like this butterfly. So what I do is I, I print them out and I print, I, I make different sizes and then I put them together to make the 3D butterflies. I'm sure you guys figured that out, but I just thought I should say it. So look at that one, how beautiful that turned out. And you can see with the stickles on there it just really really makes them stand out and then of course I used uh, some just slight embellishments I didn't go too crazy with the embellishments mostly flowers here's another one that is a style that I only made one in but I have cutouts to make some more and I I didn't think I was gonna like this one much but it turns out that I really, really like it. It has a more vintage -y look. So these are, this one's already together. This one and this one are together. So we just have to glue these together. Oh, here's two more. Aren't they beautiful, you guys? Um, so I just thought, you know, I'm going to make some today. I think what I want to do is I want to spend a couple of days just making a ton of these butterflies and then I'm going to also put some in my Etsy shop um, for sale so I will be working on that as well just kind of putting together a, um, some little packages of butterflies some sets 
So I thought that would be fun. And I know for those of you who don't want to make them, it's easier for you to go and, and buy them at, in the Etsy shop. So I thought, okay, I'll just make some up and make enough that I can have some in my shop. And I need to start coming up with some new ideas for things to put in my shop because my shop is getting a little bit sparse, a little bit, a lot sparse. Um, I'm used to having at least 250 items in my shop and right now I'm down below, I think, 150. So that's kind of bad for me um, because then that means I don't have as many options in my shop. And um, I, especially this month with wanting to do the two raffles, um, the one for people spending $25 and the one for people people spending $50 and more, um, I want to make sure that, you know, I have options of things for you guys to purchase. So um, if I don't have that, then you're not going to want to, um, you know, get involved in the raffle because you don't have anything to buy. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm working on. Um, and I'll be getting some of these in my shop, but you can see my box is filling. So that's awesome. I'm excited about that. I would like to get this box completely full of butterflies. So, um, the other thing that I'm using in these, my friend Kim sent me some more of my pearl strands, so now I don't have to ration them out anymore. So these are what they are. She sent me these beautiful pink ones this time. Aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. And then she sent me... Um, two rolls of my ivory or cream colored ones. So I've got lots of pearls um, so that I can do some embellishment kits and embellish lots of things with them in my videos and so now I don't feel like I have to ration them because my original roll was down to almost nothing. <laughs> so um, thank you very much Kim for supplying me with more of my gorgeous, gorgeous pearls. You know how much I love them. Um, I use them in just about everything I do. So um, anyway, so let's go ahead. These are already put together here. So we'll put those aside and we're going to um, cut this last butterfly out in this one. So I'm just taking and I'm cutting to the outside of the darkest lines because I really want the dark lines to show because that kind of gives the, um, especially in this particular butterfly, it gives the more vintage effect on the butterfly, and I really like that. So I'm making sure I'm cutting out the body so that the body stays on the biggest one. I try to remember to cut it off pretty much in the, the smaller butterflies that I lay on top of the big one. Um, just because I, you only need one body. I mean, of course, the center part of it is going to stay there, but um, as far as the, the tail end and the head, I just cut those off on the smaller ones and leave it on the largest butterfly that's going on the bottom. So that's what we're doing here. And I hope you guys are close enough. I need to look at my camera here and see if maybe I need to zero in just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Make sure you have a good pair of scissors so that you can easily get around. You know, some detail scissors work great for this. Um, so that you can get into the tight corners like in here where the wings um, come together. So that's all there is to that. All cut out and ready to go. So let's go ahead and we're going to glue this one together. And the process, once you get them cut out, is pretty cut and dry it's pretty easy I'm just going to take the bottom one and glue this next one down and you can see how the just that center piece of that body just kind of meshes right into the the bottom butterfly 
put a little dot of glue on the next smaller one and press it down good and tight and I'm using my nail and that kind of using my nail kind of makes them um, fluff up a little bit you can see there And then you can take them and just kind of bend them up like this. And that's how you get your, your more 3D effect. So that's what that looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Even by itself, with nothing on it, it's beautiful. And I'm, I'm deciding if I want to put this little one in the center of this one. And I think I'm going to leave it off on this butterfly. Um, I'll save that for that other one there. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of our beads here and I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use two of them leaving, leaving a little, leaving just a little piece on this end and then just the two balls there and we'll cut off another section. Don't throw these little bits away that you cut off. Save them because they are great for other uh, projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these two here. I'm going to put a dollop of glue there. And I'm just going to lay these two into that glue. Kind of... Um, set them in there so that you have them going in the direction you want them in and then I'm going to take and I should have had this cut off already one of these little white tiny tiny white paper roses that I get from Kiki's and I'm going to put that right over the top of the antennas just like that you can use one flower, you could use two flowers. I've also got some little tiny um, flowers here that are, I think these are made out of polymer clay. And maybe I'll take one of these tiny pink ones and put it next to the bigger one. And I'm just going to put a tiny dot of glue on the back side of this and put it right there next to the other flower. So that's what it looks like so far. Isn't that pretty? And then the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take and just kind of fluff up this top wing here and I'm gonna cut off a couple of pieces of this here. I'm not gonna use the big uh, pearls on these I'm going to go with a three, a two, uh, maybe two twos. So we've got two of them that have two balls on it and one that has three. And I'm going to take and put a nice squeeze of glue in there. And I'm going to put the triple one in first and then put in our doubles. I'm going to put a double on either side of the triple and just have those popping out underneath that little wing just like that. Isn't that pretty? And then what we're going to do is on this one I kind of like I have some stickles here this is unicorn and it looks really pretty on this particular butterfly um, let's see where's one of the ones that I did well I did you know what the pink actually looks really pretty on these two this is the pink and then this is what the unicorn 
stickles looks like. I think this is the, yeah, this is the unicorn. And it just um, has a different sparkle, but very sparkly. And then I, on some of them, I used my um, diamonds, which is what I used on this one. And it's just very light and pale. Um, so on this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the unicorn. I'm going to make sure I get it coming out of here first. Move that out of my way. And we're just going to go around all of the wings. Just on the edge. it's going to get stuck. All right. Let me get a toothpick in there and see. Okay, that opened it up. I don't like to stick toothpicks in these because sometimes they get stuck, but that one didn't. I just didn't have any wire or a pin handy to do it. So we're just going to go around each wing, all the way around. And I'm going to fold that up and go around this one. And we're stuck again. The only thing I don't like about stickles is this the glitter gets tends to get stuck in there and you're constantly having to work to get the hole to open up and I And that time the toothpick is not working. Let's see if a paper clip will do a better job although I think it's actually a little bit thicker so it's probably not a great idea yeah that doesn't want to go in okay It could be that this is just getting low because I did use a lot of it yesterday doing my other butterflies. Oh my goodness, I need a pen. Oh, let's see. Of course, when I need one, I can't find one. When I don't need one, they're everywhere. Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to go... Oh, I know what I could use if I have one. We'll use a little flower stem. These work really well. <laughs> so we're just going to cut one of those off. There we go. Because these are nice and thin and they go through really easily. Okay, now maybe we'll get lucky. Oops, now it's coming out too fast. Yep, that cleared it up nicely. Okay, now I'm going to get to the other side here. I 
I figured you guys might like a little butterfly tutorial. I haven't done any butterflies in a while and these were just I just got the idea to do these. I was I think I was looking on Pinterest and I was looking at all of the beautiful butterfly images that were out there and I thought you know I could take some of the ones because I had a bunch of them printed already I said I could take some of the ones that I've got and just cut them out and make some 3D butterflies and they would be gorgeous. And I'm constantly looking for butterflies and I've gotten kind of tired of using the same old ones all the time. So I made my own. So there's that one all done. I put a little stickles on the flower as well. And isn't that gorgeous? So we'll put that one aside here and let that start drying. And next I want to work on this one. Now this one I've got these little floral butterflies. And I thought maybe what I would do maybe use this one on the back of this one and this one's a little smaller so I'll use that one on the front and then use these two tiny ones so we're gonna do that so let's glue these together I love these floral ones and in fact I went in last night and I started looking for more of the floral type butterflies and man did I find some pretty ones and so um, pretty soon I'm out of cardstock paper but I did order some uh, last night so I should be coming it's supposed to come tomorrow but my guess is it won't come till Monday um, but that's okay and I'm going to be printing some more stuff and then I want to get some of my vintage lady um, images that I have and I want to do some with with those on them like the other one that I showed you here because I thought wouldn't it be pretty to make some butterflies with some vintage ladies on them so I'll try and get the other ones a little more better placed but I just thought that would be a fun project too so I'm gonna have a lot of butterflies in a lot of designs um, for you guys to pick from hopefully in the very near future okay so that one's ready to go and we've got these ready to go so we're just going to go ahead and glue these this last set together here and then we will move on to embellishing them this one I didn't cut the tail off of I think I didn't because I was thinking that was the biggest one and so I was thinking it was going to go on the bottom, but it's not. It's the second one up. And those are the same size there. This one's going to get actually four or five. I don't know if I'm going to put that tiny one on top or not. I'm just going to play that by ear because sometimes that tiny one is a little too tiny depends on how small the ones above it go like on this one it's small enough that the tiny one fits in with the whole scheme of it but it may not on this one because this is a much bigger butterfly so yeah I'm not crazy about that going on there so we'll just put that aside maybe we'll do something else with that or you know what I think I'm just gonna put these aside and use them for another day 
The only thing I'm not crazy about this one is the second one seems to be a more long butterfly and it doesn't sit the way the other ones do. So I think I'm going to take, I hate to do this because I'm probably going to weaken it a little bit, but I think I want to take this one off. and not use it. I'll use that somewhere else and then we'll just put these back on top of the other one. Like that. There we go. I think that's better. It, the flow is better. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that one aside and let's see. We're going to use this stickles on this one, and this is the diamonds. The diamonds is always pretty on everything. And we're going to kind of go back and forth. Some of them we're going to use our pearls on, and some of them we're going to use these. Now, on this particular butterfly, I want to use these again. Um, I'm going to cut that one off there. Okay, so this is a bigger one, although these are kind of spread apart on this one, so I'm going to cut that section off, and we may use it on another one, and we'll use these three, and we'll use these two for the bottom part of the wing. And I'm just putting those extra balls aside because I will be using those in other projects. So now we have all of the ones we're going to use on this butterfly. So I'm just going to... Oh, I forgot to do my inspirational quote today. I didn't even put one together for us. I totally forgot, you guys. And on this one, this is a little bit bigger. So I think, I want to see if these flowers will fit. Whoops. These might be a little too big. I'm not sure. These are beautiful flowers I got from Kiki's. And that's K-I-K-I-S, in case you guys are wondering or having a hard time finding it. I know it's hard to, to hear what I'm saying sometimes. Even I have looked at my videos and gone, ooh, I can't even tell what I'm saying. Um, so it is Kiki's Sale. Um, oh, that looks pretty on there. This is one of my acrylic roses. That looks really nice in there, and it fits the size. It's a little heavier, but that's okay. And then I've also got this size, and maybe, oh, I have a smaller one. I'm running out of white flowers. These are all I have left of the white tiny flowers. So I'm going to use some of my other flowers in these as well. And then I've got this style, which is one of my favorite flowers. It's got the white and the pink and that actually looks really nice and maybe we'll use one of these small flowers yeah that's what we're going to do on this one i'm going to leave this white flower out here because we may use that on another one i like to make sure i have white especially in these ones that are more white and pale pink I like to have a white flower in those. Okay, so now we are going to, we'll use this one that was kind of spread, it had the two balls that's kind of spread apart. That's okay for under this wing here. So we'll use these for that. And one of the doubles on either side. And there we go. 
gorgeous. So that one, that's what that one's looking like. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then we will use our stickles and hope for the best that this... You know what, I'm thinking I might use my pink stickles on this one, actually. I think the pink will go nice with this one. So we'll just start heading around the edges here. So the other thing I need to do is get myself ordered some more stickles before I run out. I'm doing pretty good right now, but I'm starting to run out of some of them, so I want to make sure that I don't. So I'm going to get in there and check out Amazon's sales because they, um, they do have some pretty good sales on their stickles sometimes. So you can get, you know, a pretty good deal. I'm going to lift this top one up a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to get all the way down under in these middle ones. That's okay. You don't have to get all the way to the edge um, because you're not going to really see that part anyway. It's, it's hidden under the other wings. So as long as you get right up to where you want to be, you're fine. Don't struggle with trying to get in where you, you just can't because then you end up with a mess that you can't fix. I mean you could wipe it off but you know stickles and the glitter sticks around pretty much wherever it it gets. And so that's what that side looks like. So you can kind of see the difference between the side that has the stickles and the side that doesn't. And it would be pretty either way. So if you're not a fan of the stickles or you don't have any that's okay you can do this without them and you're still going to get gorgeous butterflies that you can use in your projects these are great for using um, on uh, journals and things like that like journal covers they're awesome they look beautiful and in fact I'm going to be making a couple of journals um, coming up here I got a couple of them at uh, I found them at the Dollar Tree, and they were actually really nice ones. They're hardcover journals. Um, they have the lined paper in them, and they're a nice little size. And I painted them, and they just painted so nicely. So I'm actually looking forward to doing those. And then I want to do, I have some... Easter eggs that I want to do too and in fact that's what I was going to do my video on today but then I realized that um, I was missing a couple of things to be able to do them the way I wanted to so which number one is I'm looking I want to put print out some images of some animals uh, bunnies and and things like that and I've got the the images already I just don't have them printed and I don't have any cardstock to print them on so I realized that that was not going to happen today so um, again my order is supposed to come in tomorrow with my paper so so that's that one isn't it gorgeous we've got two of them done already And let's do one of these light pink ones here. It's all glued together, so we just need to, I think on this one, we'll use the pearls, the ivory pearls. So let's see, we're going to go, I'm going to go with three. And we need that. I have my little basket over here that I'm popping my, this is a little squirrely on these other pieces here. I'm going to put that aside. Whoops. And there's another three. And we need another, I'm still going to go, I think, with a 
three and two twos under the wing. Okay, there we go. So we'll put our dollop of glue here. And that one will go right there. Oh. And that one will go right there. I switched it because I didn't have as long of a a tail on that first one that I was going to put on there and I don't want them to be all uneven. So there we go with that. And then under this tiny, tiny wing here is where we're going to put, you know what, maybe we'll go under the second wing. I think we will on that. Just so that I don't end up with a big puddle of glue. So we've got three and two and two. So there's that one. I need to fold the wings up so you guys can kind of get a better effect. This one is super pretty because it's got that floral butterfly at the bottom. Super pretty. So you see, you can see the flowers kind of underneath popping out on that bottom one. I'm going to definitely print some more of those out and make some more with different sizes of those, just those butterflies. Okay, so let's get our stickles on there. And on this one, we're definitely using the diamond. because it's that nice pale pink and we don't want to overshadow that beautiful pink. I'm not going to go too crazy with the stickles on the, the flowers on these because I've found that if you do that over flowers and you use too much stickles, it drowns out the look or the, the definition of the roses and I don't want to do that so I'll just add a little bit of stickles um, on the other parts of these wings just to kind of add a little bit more sparkle but not too much but definitely not too much over those flowers I just put a little dot and just kind of spread it around over those flowers so it's just a tiny bit of sparkle I just love these butterflies though. I, I, I have a really big thing for butterflies. I've always loved them, but they have a significant meaning for me. Um, you know, I've lost a lot of family members over the last 10 years or so. And having worked in hospice for so long um, we did a lot of Wings of Hope um, memorial events and those were always so special to everyone who attended we'd have the families come and they would all um, we would have butterflies and it's where you buy the uh, the frozen butterflies and they deliver them to you just in time for your event and then they're frozen and then they start to thaw during the event and by the time you're ready to release them everybody gets to release their own butterfly so each butterfly is in a separate box so everybody is handed one and man we have kids and and everything that attend the events and one little girl one time I know I've told this story before but one little girl had a butterfly that landed on her shoulder and she was certain that it was her grandmother and it sat on her shoulder for the longest time and 
we just said, you know, yep, that's your grandmother. She's saying goodbye to you, and she's going to move on to her journey. And the significance of the butterfly is that, you know, how butterflies go from caterpillar to butterfly. And um, the, the moving on in their journey and moving to the next part of their journey um, of life. And it's just, to me, it's a very significant and powerful message. Um, so there's that one, super pretty. We'll put that one aside. But butterflies in general have, have a big meaning in my heart. So I just love them. Okay, this one, um, I think think I'm going to use the pink balls again. I just love these. Kim, you knocked it out of the park with these pink ones, I'm telling you. I got to look and see what other colors they have now. <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous. And they're such a pale pink, like a champagne pink almost. And they don't, um, they're not overpowering, but the shimmer on them is so pretty. They almost look metallic. Um, and they're just, they're stunning. They really are so pretty. So um, I'm impressed, Kim, you did good. I was so excited when I saw them. I didn't even know they made them in other um, other colors. Okay, we've got a string stuck, and it's going to drive me crazy. Hopefully I didn't run out of time to get these on here. Nope, we're still good. Okay, so those are on. Those look really pretty on this butterfly. Super pretty. And this is a four... I didn't, I didn't do that on purpose, but this one has four on it, and I'm just going to go ahead and leave it that way because sometimes I like to have a really long piece hanging out. So that one's going to be very long. It might be nice if we had a like a three to add to that. Maybe I'll do that and put a three-prong one. Put a little bit more glue there. So pretty. And on this one, we're also going to use the diamond stickles because again, we're using we're doing a very pale pink butterfly. So let's get that on there. I have a little tray around here somewhere that I want to use to show these all to you at the end. I'm hoping I can find it. I know it's covered with a bunch of stuff, but that's okay. And this butterfly doesn't have any flowers or anything on it. It's just a very plain little butterfly, but gorgeous nonetheless. I can't wait to do some of the other colors too because I got some, some that are in like oranges and greens and um, just lots of different colors. And they're just going to be beautiful. I think I found some that have almost like a Hawaiian floral pattern on them. that are really pretty too. I'm trying to remember if I if I got those or not. I can't remember. Oh, I forgot to put my my flowers on there. And again, this one has to have one of the tiny white flowers. I I have a couple more of the pink ones, and I can't find them. I used them last night and I put them somewhere. These are pretty too. These might be pretty to add a little sprig of. I think I'm going to cut. These I got from Gail over at Fava of Four. And they're really pretty. 
And I only got this one little stem, but I think I want to try using a couple of these on there too. Um, let's put the the white rose on before I finish up with the oh you know what I really need to put this in there and this in there first hopefully I didn't make a mistake Eh, I don't like it. Now if I cut it down though, it might work out perfectly. Because they kind of look like rosebuds almost. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if my glue is still wet or not. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That looks really pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up with our stickles. <clears throat> okay. So, my hubby's been working on some stuff in the house. He redid my kitchen window and put um, a nice oak shelf ledge on the window and uh, new blinds. So my kitchen window looks so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. You should see it. Beautiful. My, my kitchen looks, uh, just with that one little window covering and the, the shelf and stuff, it just looks like a whole new kitchen almost. And today is my wedding anniversary, you guys. 23 years me and Jeff have been married now. There we go. Okay, I think that looks really pretty with that long, with the long stems underneath the wings there. I like that. I do need to kind of lift, I want to lift these wings up just a tad so they don't end up sticking to the ones below them. I'm afraid that's what's going to happen. So, I'm just going to take and I'm touching this flower and I'm getting stickles on my hands. But that's okay. There's still, whoopsie, and then I dropped it. There's still plenty of stickles on that flower. I don't have to touch it up or anything. Okay. And let's try and hurry up here and do. These last couple of, this one's only going to get a two, oops, the two um, pearl antennas. And let's see, we also need a tiny flower on this one. Maybe maybe we'll use that. I have little bows here too. I don't know if I'm going to like that, but I think we're going to put this flower right there. And then maybe I can tuck in this little This 
other little pink one and I think I'm going to try and even tuck in this other little ball here. Just like that. That looks really pretty. Okay, now I think on this one we'll use these pearls under the wings. Do something a little different. And there's a three, and there's a two. Okay. And on this, we're going to go down right above the last wing and pop those in. Oh, and I lost my three pearl thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <sighs> Okay, hopefully my glue hasn't dried yet. There we go. All right, so there's that one. And I didn't use the bow on it. I think it was it's just too small to to add that much more to it. And we're going to add a little bit of stickles on this one. I don't think I'm going to do this one as elaborate. We're just going to add a little bit to these tips here on the wings. Okay, just a little bit. Just a little spread around on the flowers there. And a tiny bit on these. There we go. Yeah, let's go to dinner. Okay. Okay, so there is that one. For some reason, you can't hardly see the stickles on that. But it's there. Well, I didn't put as much on this one either, so. All right. We just have a couple more here, you guys. <laughs> We're almost at the finish line. We've got this one that's a really, really big one. And I'm gonna snip off some of these body parts here. That's from the money Deanna sent. So that's for the, yeah. I just put it on the counter. Yep, Deanna, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Thank you, I got your money. <laughs> okay, so we need three, we need a two, and we need... I need to figure out how to use the, the maybe a bigger one on one of these, maybe in the center, and this would be a good one because it's a big one. Um, so we've got three, three, two, two, and this one is going to get a four with the twos. And I'm going to leave a couple of these balls out just to see what I can do on the... You know what, I probably should use four 
for the antennas on this one, now that I think about it. Uh-oh. I lost my end. Where did you go? Oh, boy. I don't know how that happens on these, but if you lose the end and it pops back in, sometimes it's very, very hard to find the end again. And what I may have to do is snip it somewhere else, because I am just not finding it. Wait, there it is. Yay! Okay, we got it. I think we're going to go with longer antennas on this one. So we're going to go one, two, three, four... And one, two, three, four. All right. So let's glue the antennas on. Got that one. Whoops. And we got that one turned that way. And if I can get to it fast enough, we're going to put this pretty flower in right there. I should have put that one on. That's okay. And maybe, let's see, do I have a small? We'll go with a small pink one. There we go. Just like that. Okay, and then on this one, we're going to go under the second tier. Uh, wing, and we're going to have that one going down. And that one going down. And that one going down. So we used a four pearl and two um, I think we're just going to pop in these little two, two pearl ones too. Just because we can. So there, now we've got a nice bunch of pearls in the corner on this one. Alright, and on this one we're going to go with the pink stickles. And this one, you can see, I actually doubled the bottom one, and I, I put them together, and this is really stiff and really strong. And I'm going to start doing that a little bit more with some of these, um, because it really does help with the strength of the butterfly overall. And for using these like on journals and things like that, um, although the other ones are fine, they're plenty strong enough, um, this one is like super duper strong. And again, I'm just going around the edges of the wings. And on this one, I might change it up a little bit and do a little bit of stickles on some of the um, the dots that are on the wings, just to kind of sparkle them up a little bit. Just like that. And I think I'm also going to take some and go down the tail of the butterfly, the body, just like that. That looks good. Woohoo! I did good. I bought my husband a shirt and it fits the first time around. <laughs> you never know. I'll tell you the sizing of clothes these days. You you never know if it's going to be right or not because the different brands size everything differently. So sometimes he needs a large and sometimes it's an extra large and you just never know. 
and I'm always so happy when I get it home and it actually fits the first time. We don't have to take it back and get another size. But I also bought him some pants and I'm not sure if those are going to work or not. But they're a different style of pants than I normally get and I thought, you know what, I bet I think I got the right size. But we'll see. Okay. And I think we'll just put a little bit of stickles on the flowers here. Just in a couple of little spots, not too crazy. Because this pink stickles is quite a bit darker than like the diamond stickles. But it's quite pretty. So that's what that one looks like. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I'm so happy about these butterflies. I can't even tell you. And let's see, we've got two more. And I'm trying to see how long this video is right now. Uh, I'm getting too long. Um, you know what, you guys? I think we're going to stop right there. I'll save these two and do them off camera. Um, but, man, this was fun. I'm glad that I got to do this video today, and I'm almost glad that I'm doing the butterflies instead of the other one. Let me see if I can find my tray real quick so that I can display these for you. It's back here, and it's got stuff on it, but I'm going to... You didn't hear that. See my little tray? And that way I can just kind of lay these on here, at least as many as I can get on here, so you guys can see them all. That, got that. And we got a lot of butterflies done in this video though, I gotta say. that one and maybe I'll put one of these other ones that I already had done on here just so I can fill in the space there we go so there's a whole bunch of beautiful beautiful butterflies that you can make yourself and or once I get them all done you can buy them from my Etsy shop if you're interested um, but aren't they gorgeous, you guys? This was a fun video to do. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, God bless you all. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And, um, and even to those who have not, if you're watching this video, um, I appreciate you, and I'm glad you stopped in, and hopefully you'll stop by and watch some more. Um, don't forget about my Etsy shop and the uh, raffles that I'm doing there, you guys. Um, I'll be announcing those giveaway prizes shortly, probably within the next day or so. Um, sometime this weekend I'm going to try and put that video together so um, so that you guys will know what's what's coming up so anyway thanks a lot you guys God bless you all take care have a wonderful wonderful weekend and be safe be well and I will see you in the next video bye bye God bless stay tuned for pictures on the back end because there's going to be some good pictures on this one <laughs> bye bye